Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Louise. If you're new here, I have an adult son who lives with me, adult daughter who doesn't. I've got two dogs, Chip and Dale, floating around down there. I uh, need to apologise straight off that the washing machine is on. Uh, apparently my pause does button doesn't work. I did before. I ain't doing it. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too loud because the washing machine is like right behind the camera. But we have to uh, go with what we got. So it's the 20th of... June, Sunday, I am going to cook um, beef and onion pie. Now, I googled it so much. I, I, I like research, I'm, I'm fine with research, but I couldn't find what was after. Not, I couldn't find a beef pie, I just couldn't find one I wanted to do. I'm really good at knowing what I don't want, and <laughs> not so good at knowing what I do want. So I decided from all the research, I sort of know how to make pie. <laughs> and we're just gonna wing it. Not even really started, already cut myself. <laughs> so I need to get a knife block, because <laughs> if you saw how my knives are in the drawer, it would trigger you, you would know why they got cut. <laughs> so we're gonna to work around the finger, which will be fun when we're making pastry. Right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna crock pot the filling before we, you know, I'm just gonna cook it all in there first. Now, when I researched it, a lot of the time they were saying, to put the flour on your beef, then tap it off and fry it to seal it, and then put it in the crock pot. Now, I've never done this before. I'm going to do it today, but if any of you know why I'm doing that, and if it actually makes a difference, can you let me know? Because it doesn't say that in anything. It just says to do it, not why you do it. Normally, I would just take whatever, because a lot of people do that. They fry things or they cook things and then put it in the crock pot. If I've got the crock pot, I just want to shove it all in there. Um, I'm gonna do it today just to see if it makes any difference but let me know if you know okay i'm not looking at quantities i'm just literally winging it so i'm going to fry these off um just quickly the, the pan has been on for a little while um yeah i've got a lot of flour at the bottom of it that's why i'm doing it more individually i'm always quite excited about this So I asked him what sort what sort of stuff he wants in it. He just wants a beef and onion. And actually, I think, oh, who was it? Oh no, I remembered your name earlier. I forgot your name. Anyway, you suggested beef and onion, so we're going beef and onion. Never take offence if I don't remember your name. If I do remember your comment, that's a good thing. I forget my colleagues, um, my work colleagues' names that I've worked with for 10 years, so never ever take that personally. <laughs> actually cooking this we're just sealing this I've never ever done this before like I said so I'm guessing we just make it whack it up because we don't want it to be sitting in here too long now I hope you're not coming here for any cooking tips because I am not the best cook <laughs> and whilst that's frying off we're just going to cut an onion up Today's just going to be a relaxed day. We've done quite a lot. We're on the second load of washing so far, which is good. Uh, what else did we do? Sorted all my tablets out. Actually answered everybody's comments on YouTube, which is great because normally that takes me days to get around to it because I enjoy doing it, but it just takes a while. So we're all caught up and it's only Sunday. Quite impressed with myself. What else did we do? Sorted some bits out in the shed. Sorted a bottom drawer at cupboard. Uh, bottom cupboard that had, uh, oh, get the words out of the ways, food cupboard, bottom drawer, um, bottom shelf, <laughs> food cupboard, bottom shelf, uh, sorted all that out today because every time you open the, the cupboard things fell out, they don't anymore, <laughs> um, yeah just pottering around, haven't really got a list of things to do, I just wanted to achieve this and get washing on but my first load's done which was the important one. So that's onions done, they're just going to go in the crock pot like that. Let me quickly... I think that's close to being done. And then I've just put a little bit of water in here um, with two of these uh, Tesco's gravy beef pots to make it as... Uh, I'm going to try and make it thick so I'm not putting a lot of juice in and we'll just work it as it goes along. And that's it, there was just two of them in there. It smells really... it smells like Marmite really strong like marmite, marmite brothel sort of smell that one is 
and I'm aware the crock pot is too big because I have two crock pots. The other one's smaller, but the heat on it just doesn't. It, it just it's like having it on low all the time. This one will get it going good just to start off. I'm assuming this is done enough. I'm not messing about with it too much because, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's sealed. I think that's what they call sealed anyway. A little bit done. That's done. Onions in. Just break them up a little bit. Don't know what you can see and what you can't. I'm sorry if you couldn't see anything. I mean, this, this is all going to cook down anyway, so it's not really... And the juices, it's only a little bit, it's not going to even cover it because I don't, we're not after loads of like, we don't want the food swimming in juice, we want thick, like gloopy type juices, that's what I'm after anyway. A lot of this didn't melt in, I thought it had. Not a biggie because I think I'm probably going to use some gravy granules anyway later on if it doesn't thicken up. So I'm literally going to work that on now for a couple of hours, I'm going to tidy up then when i finish cleaning up we'll make some pastry which will be interesting like i said i uh, might have to put a glove on actually uh yeah we'll make some pastry because that's got to sit in the fridge yeah i think it's gonna have potato with it but i can find out what potato we want so i'm gonna bake potato for dinner i'm not having any pie a little while later i'm actually knackered now i haven't done much i just cleaned up and i've been sitting watching a few youtube clips but um it's hit me now okay so i've got a recipe it is for, I read this, a 20 centimetre tin, but it's just, it would be one layer. But I'm going to try and do two, the top and the bottom. So I've doubled the ingredients. All I've done at the moment is this is 350 grams of plain flour. So if you were just going to go by the basic recipe, 175. A pinch of salt in there. And I've cut up butter. It's 85 grams if you're going with the recipe, but we're putting in 170. I cut into small cubes, but I've kept it in the fridge because the best way of doing this is to keep it as cold as possible. So if I've got it all out and like, because I've got the oven on now with my baked potato in it, and it's just quite warm in here anyway. So um, yeah, the idea is to try and keep it cool as long as possible. If it starts to melt, you know, and go like melted butter in it as you're doing it, it's too warm. You need to probably put it in the fridge for a little bit. And I've done this a long time ago, so I don't know how my technique is. Plus, I've got a glove on, and my hands are small, so the glove's too big. So we'll just have to see how it goes. <laughs> so that's our butter. Cut it up all into small chunks. I'm literally going to dump it in, then I'll move the camera. In. So the idea is that you're just going to sort of like coat it first. I'm no expert at this, remember. <laughs> but you want, we're going to try and crumb it, so we're literally going to break it up a little bit at a time crumble it make sure it keeps getting broken up this can take a while but we're pretty much going for breadcrumb texture I can see there's a few bigger lumps but I don't want to overwork it either so I'm actually think I'm gonna go with that I mean I'm no expert like I said but I'm quite happy with that then it says two to three tablespoons of water and mix it with a spatula because we're not we're just gonna get it so it starts to combine loosely but it's two to three per half of this measurement because we've done double haven't we so we're looking at four to six we're only going to put two in and then start combining it. because this is short crust it's going to be crumbly anyway and you're supposed to take it out and knead it but I'm pretty much doing it in the bowl so once I'm happy about having it together I'm just going to put it in some clean film and it's got to go in the um, fridge for 
half an hour to let it rest. I don't know if it needs a bit more though. I don't know, it's holding together okay. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. It's been a while since I've done pastry. I mean it's held together so I'm going to put that in clean film and then just going to put it in the fridge for half an hour and we'll come back to it. I've just got the pastry out, it's been in the fridge for half an hour and I'm just going to cut it in half and I'm going to roll it. Um, yeah, put some flour on the side, a bit on the rolling pin and it's all I saw was, because I've obviously googled it, yeah this is quite um, dry, you're supposed to just roll it and turn it, roll it and turn it, so that's what we're going to do. check the size I put foil in the pan because it's um it's an old pan and I just I don't cook enough to get another pan oh sugar okay I just stick a little bit more I'm gonna put it in there and it's have to patch bits Okay. Glad I rolled it a little bit more. Okay, it's probably not gonna work. It's probably gonna be a little bit too. It's not terrible. Not the best, but it's not terrible. that little bit that wasn't too bad just gonna prick the bottom yes it's dirty full but it's only the filling that I've just checked that it's cooked so we're just pricking the bottom I don't know I think this is to stop it from rising or something I don't know I'm just going with what I googled I've got some paper and it says just make sure you've got it over the edge so we don't burn the edges and I don't have any of the um, cooking beans so I'm just going to put dried rice in this and I'm going to blind bake it I'm going to put the pastry back in the fridge so it doesn't warm up too much and then we'll do this process and do the top of it okay thought I was recording turns out it weren't <laughs> so I'll start again the pastry with the parchment paper was in the oven, gas mark 6, 15 minutes. Then I took the parchment paper out and put it in for another 5 minutes to make sure that the bottom was cooked properly. Which I did, record, uh, <laughs> did just tell you but I didn't record. And then I've just taken this out of the crock pot. This is the beef and onion and it's total fluke that it is exactly the right amount. This is the last bit of the pastry which I'm just going to roll out like I rolled the last piece out. A little bit hot. Yes, well, close enough. Don't want to play with it too much. <laughs> and literally, with my fingers, I'm going to pinch it down. I don't know if this is right. Actually, did not Google that bit. But I've seen something along these lines. That's the pie done then. We're not done. We're not cooked yet. And then we've got to just put a little hole in the middle to let the air escape. So I'm just going to brush a little bit of milk on it. Um, apparently that's egg is the thing to do but I don't want to waste some egg so milk is supposed to be just as good stop it from uh, drying out too much in the cooking process so that's that and I did make some little um, hearts and stars when the camera was off with the pastry be a little bit arty I'm sure it'll make Corey smile anyway there you go, see there's me thinking that I've got no uh, creativity in me at all. <laughs> and that 
is it. I'm now going to put it in the oven. Still on gas mark six, and I think I've got to leave it in for a, a bit longer. But I'm going to Google it whilst it is in. We do love a good Google. Voila! One pie ready to go. And there we have it. Finished product literally just come out the oven. Doesn't look too bad, does it? There you go. Fucking knackered. I tell you what, I am absolutely knackered. <laughs> it's taken all day. <laughs> Not just doing the pie, I've done other things as well. But let's see. Oh, it's all going to fall apart, you know it. Okay. Okay, this is the bit where I didn't quite take the edge off. <laughs> I did say I didn't, okay. Yes, it is a little bit crumbly. Probably not gonna get this out in one go. Okay, all I thought I did, okay. quite impressed with that. I hope it tastes nice. He's just going to have some mashed potato, that's what he wants with it. And there's more pie if he wants it today or tomorrow. It could be tomorrow's dinner. Oh, I'm so excited. That actually looks really nice. So, ta-da! <laughs> All day's work, nearly. Actually, I started at one o'clock. Four hours work. <laughs> He's got plenty of it. He's got mashed potato. I'm going to try a bit of the pastry pastry tastes good so I'll show you the finished served up versions because you've been here all this like time it would be rude not to wouldn't it that's what Corey wants he's probably gonna have some more later on because he eats different times to me anyway like I've mentioned before but that's all he wanted today so that's fine and I'm just having a baked potato with beans and cheese because that's all I fancy this will be the end of this video I expect because I reckon it's going to be really long I can't seem to just do little bits if I'm doing the cooking you got to see the whole process <laughs> I'm going to go and eat my dinner now and relax <laughs>